Howdy folks, today's soap is uh, from Wet to Face, it's the barbershop scent. Comes with four ounces of soap inside, and it's a pretty soft soap. I would say closer to a croak, pretty creamy. <clears throat> Has a very, it's got a very pleasant scent to it. Uh, I'll put a link down below scent description and all that neat stuff. I've got it whipped up here. You can kind of tell by the thumbnail. We got red's the theme, so I went with my red bowl here. Got it whipped up with an Omega Boar brush. It smells really nice. Also, uh, <coughs> excuse me, mercy. Um, got the pre-shave Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ice. It's methylated. Scentless. Got some witch hazel here. There's aloe with a rubber band. Got the matching aftershave. And the shaver of the day. It's been a moment since I shaved with it. And uh, this is a Focus Dynamic. It takes a DE blade that is either pre cut and snapped in half. And uh, this notch right here, you'd be kind of surprised uh, if you use it long enough. That's a good place to put your finger to be hanging on to it. Um, you can get the stand that goes with it. This part right here, if you watch the video, um, there's a video out <laughs> that shows uh, how that could be handy as it goes for uh, changing out the blade. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and I already put a hot towel to the face and I'm going to go ahead and get busy with the pre shave here. Um, so, this is a single edge shaver, but this single edge shaver is not to be, I guess you might say, um, confused that you're going to get the same kind of shave from a gem shaver or like Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Starling SE. No, you're not going to get that same kind of shave. It's got a DE blade, which is a fairly thin blade compared to a single edge blade. And the way this is designed, it um, I would say it's a it's a very mild shaver. Uh, <clears throat> it does have a pivoting head. I uh, I worked that uh, the pivoting head. I guess you might say to help cover up any shortcomings from. Uh, my technique. In other words, I don't try to benefit from having the pin the pivoting head as opposed to uh, I try to use it just like it doesn't put, doesn't pivot. And when I shave with it like that, it seems like I really have to. Uh, if you're really wanting a BBS, you might be able to get it, but you'll have to work at it. I kind of relate this uh, shaver closer to somebody transitioning from a um, uh, from a cartridge or maybe even a uh, uh, a shaver is just, just now starting out because it's for me it's very it's easy to use and for me it's like you really have to work at it in order to get a cut. For me, I find that I have better success. Uh, Trying not to use the pivoting head. And the handle, when I first got it, I thought maybe the handle was a little on the long side, but after using it a few times, kind of felt like the the handle is just right. It is made in Italy. It's made out of aluminum. I think there's only one part that's on this shaver. Smells really nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think there's only one part that's uh, not aluminum. I think it might be the pivoting pin, if I remember correctly. That is the post. I think it may be the post. Maybe all three. I know most of it's uh, it's aluminum, and uh, it's it's very lightweight. This head it does pivot. Like I say, you could try to use it like that, but I have found that I get better shades trying not to use the pivoting head. Using the pivoting, 
pivoting head to cover up, like I say, flaws in your technique, especially if you're just starting out. Um, a while back, uh, a gentleman was mentioning about the um, uh, about the kind of shave he was getting, and the uh, the fact that there's not a whole lot of space in between the edge of that blade and the bottom of the guard there, a safety bar. So you will have to rinse uh, fairly frequently, but it does a fairly good job keeping uh, keeping unclogged, if you will. Definitely a mild shaver. At least in my estimation. <laughs> It is, um, if you're used to wet shaving, it, it is a uh, enabler in that it will enable you to develop bad techniques. <laughs> because that pivoting head, it is, uh, it is pretty nice to help cover up those uh, times when you're not, your technique's a little off. I enjoy shaving with it because it's a... Uh, For me, it's uh, easier to uh, focus on the scent of the soap, how's the soap performing, all that sort of thing, and less about technique, pressure, all that sort of thing. It also depends on what you're looking for in a shave. In other words, this shaver is not, not going to be for everybody. But on the upside, since it uh, uses half of a DE blade, this one here is a Derby Professional, so it's already pre-cut. And uh, it'll take ones that are snapped in half also. But you get your favorite blade, whatever blade you want to use. In other words, one full-size DE blade will last you a moment. Kind of figure at least two shaves if you just use it once and you're done with it. As opposed if you're usually, usually doing a one and done on a DE blade anyway. Well, in this particular case, in other words, you get one shave with it and you're done with the DE blade. Well, snap it in half and now you're getting two shaves out of that same one that you're doing a, a one and done. I have used a uh, feather blade a while back in this shaver. It, it you can you can kind of tell. You notice that it's there, but it's still a very smooth, easygoing shaver. I probably should make mention of uh, my lather is a little on the wet side. It's not real thick, and uh, so that's another thing to take in consideration if you're looking at getting one of these and as it goes for a kind of lather. Uh, what works best for you in this shaver? Yeah, that clicking. Part of that clicking is also uh, because you got the the face right here that it, it has a tendency to uh, that lather that's there on your face. It'll kind of pull on it. 
but the less clicking the better off you'll be I say you can kind of imagine what it would be like if a person wasn't talking how quick he could get a shave in with a shaver like this and especially if you're just looking for a socially acceptable shave comfortable smooth not necessarily looking for a BBS pretty sure you probably get there if you wanted to um, at least for my beard you're gonna have to work at it if that's what you're after because it's a pretty mild shaver Here of late, I guess you might say the past, what, I don't know, 18 months, folks have been working towards coming up with new single edge razors. And uh, I think the Starling, yeah, it was right at $40 for the Starling, which I'm thinking that's probably one of the cheapest ones of the new ones in recent history. This one here, last time I looked at it, I'll try to put a link down below for this. Uh, I think it's right around the $58 mark. And the starting came with uh, two base plates. But this, uh, if you're looking for somebody that's just starting out on the wet shaving, in other words, you got a young one, or if you're transitioning from a cartridge and you're scared to death of what you're looking at, This would be a good one to start with. Like I said, it is. Even if you keep the bulk of this right here flush against your face with the pivoting head, it's going to adjust for you. Not a whole lot in the way of pressure. And you might want to also. Uh, Guess you might say you probably want to focus <laughs> more on your lather, building a lather. Because if you're not used to doing that, to me that's going to be your key. Figuring out with the brush that you're using, with the soap that you're using, or the cream. How do you want it? Yeah, that one part right through there. There's a part right through there. You have to work at getting it if you're trying to get it relatively close. But you stop and think how much cartridges are nowadays. How much you have to pay for those blades. It wouldn't take very long before you notice that you're saving money. And yeah, I know most people when they get caught up in this hobby, they're not <laughs> they're spending just as much, if not more. <laughs> But you might find that you're enjoying your shaves a lot more. No cuts. No nicks. No weepers. The sense that you're getting, in other words, the smell, the, the, the experience is so much different. Much more enjoyable. If your scent, <clears throat> excuse me, if your skin is sensitive, if you have a, I guess you might say an ongoing problem with ingrown hairs and whatnot, this might be one to look into. I have shaved with the uh, bevel. That's another shaver that's out there that, uh, I guess you might say some folks are. Uh, thinking that will help with ingrown hairs if you have a chronic problem with that. I have shaved with it and it's a good shaver. I don't know so much sometimes about the handle. I think it's because I'm from time to time I'm still experimenting or trying to get used to shavers that are a little bit on the light side. Don't weigh a whole lot. And uh, Sometimes that's a bit of a challenge for me, so handles that way a little bit more, which that shaver, the way it's designed, if 
I remember right, you should be able to swap out that handle. So if you'd like a handle that's a little bit heavier, and if you have one. Speaking of weight on uh, shavers, um, trying to remember what the name of the website is. It's not one that I go to very often. I have seen on Instagram some photos and whatnot of this website. I'm, I'm wanting to say Detroit Shaving, but I could be wrong. But anyway, Detroit is the, the, the key word there. And uh, somebody posted a, uh, a picture of what appears to be, I guess you might say, their latest shaver. And uh, it's a beast. In that it weighs 7.75 or 8 ounces, something like that. I think it was 7.78. In other words, almost eight full ounces. It's made out of stainless steel. I think it was retailing for around $116, if I remember right. Almost eight ounces. <laughs> Talk about letting the weight and the sharpness of the blade do the work for you. <laughs> that one ought to work for you. But that's a matter of fact, if I can find it again, I'll post a link to it down below if you're interested in checking it out. See what I'm talking about. Because to me, that is a, uh, a very, that's a very unusual shaver. It is kind of intriguing to find out or to maybe uh, get a hold of one of those and give it for a test run. Because uh, one that weighs that much, mercy, should be almost effortless. As it goes for cutting through a thick beard. Like I said, this is pretty much an effortless shave. For me, in my shaves that I have with this shaver, the Allen Block has very little to say. Sometimes no stinging or very little stinging. It's a, like I said, it's a very smooth shaver. Matter of fact, Let's see if I can do this. It's not the easiest thing to do on camera, especially after you shaved with it, because of uh, there's going to be a, just a tiny bit of soap in there. But that is the sliding mechanism right there. So in other words, it's pretty easy to to slide it one way or the you know the direction you need to go to get a hold of that blade. And for me, I have a towel that I dry my hands on right here in front of me. And a towel is just as handy. So in other words, if you don't get the base, and if you're not comfortable putting your fingers right up here to get this to slide, I just have a towel folded up here in front of me. And that's what I usually use because just because it's easy and quick. See, I've already got it off. And that's what it looks like on the inside with the blade in there. And there's that dirty professional blade there. And it's, uh, it's pretty easy just to, to put it right on there. It's quick and easy to load, to unload, move on to your whatever else that you got to, you know, to do. Clean up, aftershave, whatever the case is. It's easy to clean. It wipes off pretty easy. Uh, like I said, you've got a young shaver coming up. Maybe this is not a half bad place to start. Because, like I say, the overall experience of how much you're going to pay for blades is going to be pretty inexpensive. Just a one and done. Oh, by the way, witch hazel. Just maybe a thought. And also, I kind of wonder. <laughs> Still not a, <laughs> quite there yet. I don't know if I'll ever be there. But uh, even a head shaver, that may not be such a bad idea. Shave with one of these on your head does have a pivoting head. Like I said, a little bit more forgiving on your technique. And uh, being a mild shaver, hopefully you won't get as... It'll be better for you on the way of Nick's cuts and weepers and all that neat thing. I think it might be an idea for you. This match, matching aftershave here. I can read, yeah, 3.4 ounces in this glass container. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a shake also. Glass containers to me just, uh, there's just so much nicer. But I do understand the plastic, especially when it comes to shipping. Because I'm sure most of you that have ever ordered stuff online, 
you do get that box that looks like they've been kicking it around the truck for a moment or two. And definitely have put something entirely too heavy on top of that box. Kind of goes back to um, everybody likes the inexpensive shipping, but you really have to pack this stuff pretty well in order for it to get there without it getting busted up. That's good stuff. Quick and easy shave. No cuts, no nicks, no weepers. Great shave. I'll put links down below for all this stuff. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and stay well because I tell you what, with the flu running rampant, you know, you might want to be kind of careful. Catch you later.